tonight on a very special hot seat. Damn it, Tony. I'm not going to sit here and watch you die from drinking. <laughs> Fuck you, man. You don't understand. Don't give up, Craig. You'd still have a fulfilling life. I don't want to go on like this. Okay. So this is uh, week three of Eric Razor's Hot Seats special guest host search. The victim this week, Ian. Say hi to the folks, Ian. Hi. Yeah. The wave is Wow. The one what's effectively, I mean, I guess you could make a slide. We're going to have to. I like Pukake! I like Pukake! I like Pukake! Live action fucking LARP battle. LARP battle deck. LARP We just need a bunch of cardboard, right? Yeah. yeah. Get anything nerf, like there's missiles and stuff already. That's that's a pre set deal. <laughs> Little rotary auto cannon yeah. action. I like it, Tony. I think that's the final frontier in LARP. And then you have to reached. scream out where you're hit, too. Right torso! Right torso! Right torso! <laughs> Critical! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a gyro hit or just have a lot of tequila? And you know what? I'll, br I'll bring refreshments. I'll bring uh, like a punch. Homemade punch. Yeah. Plus, if we get enough Battletech LARPers <coughs> killed in one moment, we'll shoot straight to the space moon where our god is. So. <laughs> Ancient enemies have reunited, and we're going to take back our galaxy. And for so you're, doing a, you're doing a sub-project, not on the... Yeah, <laughs> like the project was already, to me, was already obvious. <laughs> and I think it had to do with, like, it because Russian's just such an amazingly fucked up language. So I already figured out the weird case thing and how you're going to pejorative that. Okay, I got that part. So I want to have fun with it. And so I convinced some of my friends to do the same thing. And the winner, and I don't even think it was me, I think it was Craig Roberts, was invigorating yet firm. <laughs> 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 That's just the weirdest pair of adjectives that you can throw on anything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How was, the, how was your chicken? Invigorating yet firm. <laughs> In Russian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, I remember, and I still remember the phrase because I said it on the fly. There's a our teacher who was awesome, but, you know, a little intense. Was going on about something, and she didn't think I was paying attention in class, so she tried to bust me in front of everybody and told me to give an example of a certain kind of statement. And uh, so we were dealing with the verb to know. And something else. It was it was a two part lesson. And so I thought for about five seconds and went, Sichasya is nayu is naya polovina voini. And she was like, Now I know and knowing is half of the war. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and everyone in class giggles. Right? Except for like two guys who have no idea or girls actually, I have no idea what the hell that's from. And she's like, you're just, you're just in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> just in what trouble. did I do? <laughs> she's like, everybody laughed. You did something. And she didn't get it either. No, no, she had no idea. No. G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe is there. Do you know what an aerobie is, though, right? That's like a flexible... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, that was an awesome description in two words. It's like a flexible... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Was it was that frisbee, Matt? That you were playing or soccer? We were playing ultimate frisbee. And, well, we were playing ultimate frisbee. We were playing frisbee and then we kicked the soccer ball around. <laughs> and that that did it. That, I was also running a lot to catch what frisbee. Just haven't ran a lot in a while. <laughs> Full contact I've frisbee. Been there, man. Haven't haven't used my body for anything. Been sitting in front of a computer doing nothing. So when you're like, and now run down the soccer ball and kick it. What? <laughs> oh, okay, but I mean, we haven't done this in a while. You got a jar on. Your when, body I play, said when, I, when I play frisbee, I, I lay out, try and catch the yeah. frisbee, because I'm used to playing ultimate, where it really matters if you catch the frisbee or not. Mm. So, I beat myself up a little bit. Is there a more Eugene sport in the universe, by the way, than ultimate frisbee? Frisbee golf. Ultimate hacky sack. That might the, be Wow, ultimate hacky sack. Yeah. What I what even is ultimate hacky sack? I, if you drop it, are you killed? 
I didn't. I don't know. I just, he just put ultimate. Put ultimate in front of it. You just put ultimate in front of it. He did. Ultimate soccer. Wait, you don't think I play hacky sack? I used to. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Why? No, no. You're, hey, you're doing quite well for yourself. No, I'm not. <laughs> that's likely a lot. <laughs> no, that's just something I say to people when I've obviously slighted them and then want to make it sound like a compliment. Back, backhanded compliment. Yeah, no, I got gotcha. you. But I'm not even following that one. Okay. That's not that's not even true either. Yeah, well then in high school You are a massive piece of shit for playing hacky sack. So you're moving to Portland too? Or losing you to no, Portland? No, I don't know. You're gonna skip past you and just go right up the road to Portland? Pro no, I'm not wow. I'm not gonna go with that. Another one going to Portland. No, no he says he's not. No, no they recruited him. It was some guy nice. talked and nah, it was nothing. Oh. Well I'm sorry. Yeah. You're doing quite well for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, usually when I employ that, it's uh, hey -o. It's like a, like an online game or something, and I call somebody, or I tell somebody that they suck or that they're doing poorly, and I go, oh wait, do you, do you have Down syndrome? Oh, well, then you're, <laughs> you're doing all right. Then. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh wow. You know. Trash talking on the server with your host Tony. They get mad when you don't go to the wedding. They get irate when you don't go to a funeral. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I, don't I can't make weddings. them. I, I can't make them aunt. less dead. So I don't know what me showing up is gonna really matter. Yeah, that's true. I went to my sister's wedding, and I can't remember exact the exact year, but I think I wasn't old enough to drink then. Uh-huh. Which probably made it more shitty. Uh, no, they're shitty when you can drink. Matt likes them, so we can consider it's just a personal taste thing. Likes well, what? Weddings. No, I just don't loathe them. He doesn't hate you them. You told me you had fun at them. Yeah, I had a good time. It's not like, yeah, let's fucking go to weddings. <laughs> I didn't think to me that you were a wedding crasher. Yeah, no, you're like, oh, Matt enjoys them. That's like, you have a wedding? Me. Woo, let's go. But if somebody's like, hey, buddy, I'd like you to be part of my wedding. Why, sure. And you know what? Usually it's a good time. I don't bitch and complain about it. I'm not like, oh, it's your special day. Why am I even here? <laughs> so fucking cares. You're there because they asked you to. It's their special day. They want you to personally be a part of it. To say no, sure. yes, that is being a dick. What well, old land's going on there? I was in it. In Were it you a jukebox hero? No. Okay. That is that pales in comparison. To what you were just doing? No. What you were just doing pales in comparison when you're a jukebox hero. Mm -hmm. okay. I just want to see the cape at some point. You're never going to see the cape. Okay. Unless I start fighting crime. <laughs> it has the cape? Everyone will see it. So we need to find a crime. I just want to start naming a whole group of superheroes based off obscure, like... I just imagined, I imagined the... Uh, the ascot? The, the newspaper saying... The monocle! <laughs> The cardigan. <laughs> the dicky. <laughs> Capri. <laughs> the color stay. <laughs> <laughs> Boxer brief man. Just one, too. He just has you one. Can't have a man. You can't have a man oh. there. He's not Kate Man. Nah. For God's sake, see the show once. <laughs> if it's canceled, right. so you'll never see it again. But I mean, you know. Boxer brief and tidy white. Yeah, that is a good duo. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Ambiguously gay. <laughs> When I was eight, there was like this movie on about the Special Olympics, the founding of the Special Olympics. It was like a made-for-TV movie. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm eight or nine years old. And, you know, there was just some kids running and they looked really hysterical. <coughs> so I laughed, you know? Yeah. Especially the kid with the leg braces where his, like, it was horrible. But, I mean, he was running, God bless him. You didn't know any better at the time. I, no. I did. I totally knew. I no. totally knew what you And my, both my mother and grandmother were like, you're you're going you're going to hell. You're just going to hell. I'm ashamed to know you. No, I can't believe I gave birth to you. Wow. Horrible. Stop was... laughing. And I'm like I couldn't because it was just it got funnier. Then they were trying to do the shot put. That didn't help me stop laughing. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh no. Don't pretend like you wouldn't laugh. 
Why have we just got to never watch the Special Olympics then? Yeah, no. I mean, it'll just instantly make you like, a worse person. Yeah, it does. I'm sorry. I am. But Stephen Lynch fucking hit this one on the head. And, you know, I know full well that I will burn in hell, but god damn it, that's funny. No, it's bad when you go to the Special Olympics and start betting on it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> No, it's bad when you go there, bet on it, and get in the kid's face for losing. <laughs> you cost me 30 grand, you piece of shit. <laughs> if you're betting on the Special Olympics, you've got a game no problem. If you're trying to fix the Special Olympics <laughs> so you can bet on it. <laughs> uh, what are they next in town? Timmy, Timmy. I need to just take a dive in the third race. Should be too hard, you got no legs. <laughs> Special Olympics. I enjoyed the weddings that I've gone to. I'm sure there's horribly shitty weddings. Like super religious weddings? Probably suck balls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eight hours of the guy standing up there going, and then on the seventh day, God said, Would you like to say I do? If he no. would say it like that, I would go. <laughs> no, no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. I That's don't. bullshit. You still wouldn't. I would. 